Salut c'est Kelena et on reprend sur Gridfall, alors euh, on en était arrivé à... au Nouveau Monde, si on peut... enfin sur l'île. Attendez, parce que je me souviens plus du... Non Si, attendez. Je sais plus comment on joue. <rire> euh... Non Ah, je suis pas allée au, au deuxième étage. Donc on était arrivé sur l'île, on avait rencontré euh, une aloeil mal coiffée et mal habillée. Et il nous avait dit... Non, c'est toujours pas ça. Euh, non. Voilà, alors il faut aller euh, rencontrer le gouverneur de l'Alliance. Voilà. Ou... Atteindre le village. On va d'abord aller faire le gouverneur de l'Alliance. Euh, je sais pas. Hein. Thank you for coming. I know that you're very busy, but I need your help. I'm listening, sir. This island is vast, and we only know a tiny part of it. As you know, your uncle has asked me to draw maps to facilitate the merchant's travels. Alas, I'm slightly too old to be roaming the paths, setting up camps here and there. So I'd appreciate it if, as you travel, you mark the places you deem to be safe on your map. Very well. I will take care of it, Professor. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Uh, one more thing. Do you remember that gigantic creature that you defeated in Serene? Uh, bringing a specimen to the city was obviously not a good idea. An accident was inevitable. But according to my sources, there are others of them on this island, and your uncle wishes to know more about them. I know that a scholar of the Alliance, Professor Serafedin, has also taken an interest in these creatures. I tried to contact him, but apparently he disappeared during an expedition to study them. Naturally, I cannot ask you to rummage through the entire island looking for him. Non, mais c'est ce que tu vas me demander. Hein? Trace of him. His studies on these giant creatures could be immensely useful. Very well. If I find anything out, I'll let you know. The road to knowledge is long and difficult, but this is the price of wisdom, Desade. Ouais, donc le jeu c'est Monster Hunter maintenant. Bon, allons-y. Et frotte, hein Faut que ça brille, hein Bon, d'abord on va aller faire un... J'ai pas de carte de la ville Ah, si. Euh... On va aller faire un petit tour de la ville en avant. C'est quoi ça Casser du denier. Oui, bon, oui, on va y aller. Ça, c'est quoi ça Demeure de deux sardés. Ah ouais, j'ai une baraque. On va aller à la baraque. C'est où Vos appartements. En tant que diplomate, vous avez un appartement à disposition dans les grandes villes des différentes nations. Un atelier, un coffre de stockage, ainsi que vos compagnons. Vous reportez un et voyez. Ok. C'est très rouge. Hein. Il n'y a pas des trucs à piller. Je peux, pas, je peux pas piller ma propre maison, pardon. Et ah, c'est. Euh... Alors. On va la mettre dans le coffre. Euh... 
Celle-là, on va la garder, on sait jamais. Je peux emporter combien Préparation chimique, je pense que j'aurai pas besoin. Ça, on va le garder. Euh, et ça, on va les mettre de côté. Au cas où on en aurait besoin. Voilà, alors. On va visiter un peu la ville. Hein. Allez. village But there are these bod irony who do not want me to set up shop here. These what? Bod irony. The ironbacks. The warriors who protect this village. Every time I come, they take my items without giving me anything in exchange. Please, I don't understand how things work here. Very well. Stay here. I'll try to clear this up. Adloredar on Olmenawi. May the earth always be sturdy under your footsteps. Ça, moi aussi, je vais te piller, regarde. Là, fouille. Voilà. Exploration. Tier Fradé est composé de plusieurs régions connectées entre elles. Des emplacements de campement, le bout du chemin, interface de voyage et caravane. Oh, ok. Il n'y a pas des trucs à piller là Tu es très très moche. Euh, alors. Oh bah deux en un, c'est parfait. Je vais demander à Aloy ce qu'elle pense de la situation. On all Manawi, do you need something? I've never heard you talk about your father. Who was he? He was the Donegad of our clan. But on s'en fout. On s'en fout. I must leave you. See you later. Lui. Greenblood, there's something I would like to talk to you about. Ah. I'm listening. I recruited a young man for the guard a few months ago. Talented, very talented, and honorable. I've been tracking his progress, and I learned that he's been sent to the barracks in New Serene. I would like you to meet him so that you can give me your opinion. My opinion? On what? Ever since our departure from Serene, I've spent nearly every second at your side. 
But I have clear standing orders to assure the protection of Constantine. And I don't know his guards. Not well in any case. I see. You've been thinking this recruit might be a suitable personal guard. Precisely. And your opinion has weight. So then, would you like to accompany me to meet him? Eh bien sûr. Mais par contre, on va le mettre ça plus tard. Can it wait a while? Anything else? I must leave you. J'aime bien quand elle, comment elle rentre dans les maisons. Well, I'll be damned, it's Captain Kurt. Manfred! Still a quartermaster? Always, as you can see. What can I do for you? Et moi, tu me parles pas, non? I met an islander in the streets who was complaining to me about the guard's behavior. Really? It would seem that patrols have confiscated the goods he was hoping to sell several times. Oh, I see. Indeed, I've been told about this man. The problem, Your Excellency, is that our orders are strict. Merchants who do not have a patent ratified by the minister cannot sell their goods in the street. And since your islander doesn't have one, I doubt he even knows what it is, my men have no choice but to confiscate his knickknacks. I see. Thanks for clarifying that. I'll talk to the minister. Is there anything else? We've come to find you regarding the merchandise that Kurt was taking care of. Ah, the commander's cargo, yes. I was told that had come in. And so he's got you working on this. Lucky Kurt. It helps to have friends in high places. Is everything in order? Alas, no. Our merchandise has been unloaded into one of those dock storehouses. They're well guarded. A little less at night, but in spite of that, we weren't able to get them back. Since these crates are registered in the ship's manifest, make an official request. The modification of the manifest might have fooled the quartermaster, but it won't fool the port authority. We'd have too many details to explain to them, and our commander would not like that. What? Is he waiting for us to bring them to him then? No, of course not. But Kurt needs to find the right storehouse, as well as a discreet way to get in. And he must also mark the crates that belong to us. Why is that? They are already marked with an inscription. Most of the men are illiterate. A colored mark will stick out for them to find, but they need to be quick about it. They won't have the time to decipher a name. I see. Well, let's see what we're able to do. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Ouais, donc dans ce jeu, faut tout faire soi-même. Allez, poussez sur les bras. Pas des trucs à piller là. Oh, doublé usé de la guerre. Mais... Non, ils m'ont pas vu, c'est bon. Ok, je fais un coup de pied dans un tas de livres, il y a des pièces d'or. Pardon, pardon Et casse-toi How are we to know in which warehouse we'll find this damn cargo I'm afraid we're going to have to take a look at all of them.
Greenblood. Tell me, do you remember that young? I would. Oui, on va le voir. Allez. But of course. Raina must be with the other recruits in the barracks. I had thought you were lone wolf with only our good friend in your pack. But I was mistaken. I am full of surprises, pretty she wolf. Ah, je recrute. Voilà, je ne recrute. On s'en débarrasse de ça. Et après, on va aller chercher ces putains de caisses. Allez, cours. Là. C'est moi ou j'ai fait juste le tour, là Putain, il était dans l'entrée. Good day, soldiers. Your Excellency. Captain. Soldiers, may we be of service What is your charge? Maintain order in the city, Excellency. Anything else, Excellency? Rank and assignment, soldiers. Recruit, first class, Blue Silver Regiment, 8th Company, Your Excellency. The Blue Silver Regiment is made up of men attributed to serve the congregation of merchants. I'm one of them, and the 8th Company was sent to Tier for D, with two other companies. Anything else, Excellency? I'm looking for the soldier, Rainer. Is he in the barracks? I never heard that name before, Captain. Never heard the name, Captain. That's strange. I'm certain he was sent here. Maybe he's been moved since then. When was the last time you'd heard news of him? In Serene, just before our departure. But that's been a couple of months. If I may, Captain, should I have a word with the quartermaster? That's right, Captain. He has a register with the affectations of every recruit in the Blue Silver Regiment. Anything else, Excellency? Non, non, repos les gars, repos. Allez, soldiers. Bon, on va aller revoir l'autre bouffon. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've been looking for one of my recruits. Goes by the name of Rainer. I would like for His Excellency to meet him. Rainer? I'm sorry, Kurt. I thought you'd been informed. Informed about what? He is dead. He was found, drowned in the port harbor day before yesterday. I was told he had too much to drink and fell in. I'm extremely sorry, Kurt. The young men drink more than they can handle when they're on leave. That's bollocks. That lad isn't the sort to sully himself with drink. I don't believe it. People change. When they're far from home, the lads have little else to do. I still don't believe it. Listen, you might as well go and ask the doctor down in the morgue. I might have misunderstood what was reported to me. Those doctors use such long words for simple things. Excellent idea. At least you'll see it for yourself. You're right. Let's go. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Hey, c'est parti, on descend la morgue. Enfin, si je trouve la route pour descendre jusqu'à la morgue. C'est où la morgue Allô Ah, fallait. Well now, a visit. Can I help you with something C'est sûr que des visiteurs à la morgue, il doit pas y en avoir beaucoup. Whatever is a doctor of the Bridge Alliance doing in the barracks of the new Serene Coin Guard I was posted here from the University of Al Saad, as per their agreement with the guard. Agreement? What sort of agreement? The guard requested dedicated doctors for the care of their troops. The university accepted under two conditions that the doctors practice only in the territories of the bridge or her allies, and that we have the privilege of examining all of their corpses in the interest of anatomical study. These requests were made official thanks to the agreement charter. And I must say, we have been able to increase our knowledge of anatomy immensely. Anything else? We are here concerning the matter of Recruit Rainer. Are you family or friends? You could say that. I'm the one who recruited the lad. I see. Well, what I can do is tell you what I can. Welcome well, anymore. <laughs> um... When was the body brought to you? Day before yesterday, in the early morning. Hmm. 
Can you tell me anything about the circumstances? All I know is what I was told by the fellows who brought the body to me. They said they'd spent the evening together at the tavern, that they'd had a great deal to drink. A horrid habit the soldiers all seemed to share. Rayner was not a drinker. Maybe not. All the same, he was drinking that night. He stepped outside for a moment and never came back in. His companions found him drowned in the bay early morn, and they brought him to me. How then did he die, in your opinion? He drowned. I'm sorry. It's regrettable. He was quite a young man. Yeah, and his death makes no sense. He didn't drink, and he knew how to swim. All the same, that's what happened. I greatly regret it. Bah après, tu peux savoir nager et te faire couler par ton armure. Hein. Might we take a look at the body? Um, no, I wouldn't recommend that. To see your friend in such a state. I'm a soldier, Doc. I've seen a number of men in pieces. Let me see the young lad. I... I regret, Captain, I cannot allow that. Allez, on va le charismer. I have, as of yet, to present myself. I'm Lady de Sardé, legate of the Congregation of Merchants on Tierfredi. And as the title infers, I have the power to inspect this barracks and all that it contains. Therefore, I must insist. I am sorry, Your Excellency, but ah! in these walls, I am the only master. These bodies are often vectors of infection and extremely contagious. So, for your own security, I find myself obliged to refuse. Ah, j'ai pas assez de charisme. Bon, on va le menacer. To be quite frank, we're leaving you no choice. I doubt that you will be able to stop my friend from doing what he wants. And today he's driven by sadness. And when he's of sad sorts, the slightest frustration can turn that melancholy into a rage. And alas for you, He's quite violent when he's in a rage. You... you wouldn't dare. I've been appointed by the Elder of the University of... What's a fool? Violence. I... Very well. Do as you see necessary. Beasts. It's the body in the middle. Examine him if you must. But please be so kind as to not leave a mess after you. Moins un point en réputation, les gars. Ah oui, la vue est horrible. Ah oh là là. This doesn't look like the body of young Rainer. Coco. <rire> T'as les mecs qui s'amusent bien dans les morgues. Hein. This doesn't look like the body of Oui, non mais je sais très bien que c'est le mec du milieu. Non. This one is just a boy. His face is still locked in an expression of pain. Kurt, is this your recruit? Yes, that's my Rainer. Poor kid. I should have left him with his family where he was. We'll need to examine the body to learn more. Is that all right? He's not the first young man I've seen with the lights gone from his eyes. Go on. I'm no doctor, but this boy doesn't seem to have drowned at all. It looks like he's been beaten. It's suspicious. The boy I knew would never have drunk himself senseless to the point he'd fall into the bay, I'm telling you. I believe you, Kurt. But if we want to prove it, we'll need to find more evidence. Hello. Trouver une preuve du mensonge. Peut-être le truc qui brille, là. Le sujet est d'un jeune homme de moins, de moins de 20 ans. Il présente de nombreux hématomes sur tout le corps, certains plus anciens que d'autres. Les os des avant-bras ont été brisés, les mains sont écorchées, plusieurs côtes sont brisées et le, cac, et le crâne est enfoncé. C'est sans doute la cause du décès. Oui, il n'a pas l'air très... Vous avez plus qui s'est fait trancher la gorge que de choses. Bon, viens, on va voir le Toubib. Toubib, viens ici. Excuse me, doctor. 
But you owe us a few explanations. This boy did not die by drowning. It is absolutely the cause of death, I assure you. The science of death is a complex art, and you are certainly not a doctor. That is true, but you are. Do you recognize your own notes? Your writing is hard to read, but the word drowning never appears. Vous avez une écriture de médecin. I am truly sorry. I, I swear I have never ever falsified a report before, but I was given no choice in the matter. How's that? What are you talking about? Two men, uh, uh, lieutenants, I believe, brought a body to me telling me the boy had drowned in an accident. I saw immediately this was a lie, but I did not push the matter. I began my examination, planning to submit my report to the quartermaster as per usual, but the men returned. I was told to forget what I'd discovered and say that he had indeed drowned, or else. Who were they? I have no idea. I had never seen them before at the barracks. I, I guess they're ranked by their uniforms. What colors were they sporting? None. They must have removed the emblems of their regiment. Listen, it's obvious that this boy was beaten repetitively, and that was the cause of death. I have no intention of suffering the same fate. Have no fear, Doctor. We will make no mention of your name. Andevors Tire. That means, may the earth welcome him. I am sorry for you, Kurt. Thank you, Siora. Rends-moi mon point en réputation. Alors. On va remonter. Il n'y a pas des trucs à piller, là. Bah, ben, ça va, tranquille. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? We have a situation, Manfred. Rainer didn't drown. The doctor falsified his report. He was threatened and feared for his own life. You have to be pulling me leg. Who bullied the crow face? Lieutenants that he didn't recognize, alas. And who wore no regiment emblems. Which regiment was Rainer assigned to? I would like to have a word with his commanding officer. Let me have a look at the register. My memory isn't what it once was. Stab my heart with a rusty blade. His name's been crossed out. Oh, if I catch the bastard that did that. What mess was the boy into, Manfred? What could this be about? Your lad was in the 6th or maybe the 11th, before being reassigned to who knows where. Just like that? You out of everyone have to know where the recruits are assigned. Not of late. This isn't the first lad who's been reassigned all of a sudden at the drop of a hat. Each time I start complaining about it, I'm told they've changed regiments. And it's not my concern. Something truly bizarre is going on here. I don't like this at all. Let's try and discover which company he was stationed at before this mysterious reassignment. Is there anything else? No, fais mieux ton boulot. No, thank you. I need to get to the bottom of this mystery, Greenblood. I don't like being taken for a fool. Even if the lieutenants weren't stationed at these barracks, someone here must know where Rayner was assigned. We should also go and check the tavern. Men on leave will perhaps have looser lips than those within the walls. T'aimes pas qu'on te balade On a fait trois heures de balade dans la première vidéo. Ah, ça brille. Toi, t'as une tête suspecte. Good day, soldier. Uh, good day, my lady. De Sardé, legate of the congregation on Tirfridi. 
Captain Kurt. Oh, I... Excuse me, Excellency. I... I didn't know. Captain, I... I truly am sorry. At your service, my lady. Excellency. Since you know who we are, present yourself, soldier. Ah, yes, my lady. Recruit 2nd Class Alric, Blue Silver Regiment, 11th Company. At your service. Anything else? You don't quite look like you've got the hang of all this. How long have you been in? I... Is it that obvious? It's quite normal for a new recruit. I joined up four months ago. But at the beginning, we were on board ship, you see. I don't know if that really counts. I started exercises when we got to New Serene. But I'm making progress, they say. And do you like it here? I sure do. That's why I joined the Guard. To come here, to leave the continent. Know what I mean? I do. Anything else? Do you know a recruit going by the name of Rainer? Rainer? I... It's just... Parle. Excellency, please. Répond la dame. He's terrified now that he knows who we are. So long as he's in that state, he'll say nothing of worth. You should bring him a bottle to calm his nerves. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Ok, ok. Euh... Toi, t'as une tête suspecte. Good day, Lieutenant. My lady, you're one of the governor's confidants, see you not? Indeed. De Sardé, the governor's legate. My sincere pardon, Excellency. I didn't want to show any disrespect. Captain, Lieutenant, how can I help you? To which company do you belong? The Eighth. We are responsible for city security. Some of the men of this company are under my orders, charged to protect the palace. I'm personally in charge of the port and the surrounding streets. When I'm not on leave, that is. Are you also in charge of criminal matters? Investigations? No, Excellency. But an officer of my company is in charge. Anything else? We seek information concerning a young recruit. A certain Rainer. Rainer? Sorry, name isn't familiar to me. He must be with another company. What is he Are you sure about that? This is an important matter. I'm certain, Captain. Was he family to you? I recruited him. You know what that's like. The boy was killed and then tossed in the bay. I want the head of whoever's responsible. I did hear talk of a young lad found in the port waters. That's my sector. But I was told that it was an accident, and I had no reason to doubt it. Are you sure the lad was murdered? Absolutely certain. Beaten to death, to be precise. That's horrible. But I don't know anything about it. Too bad. Thank you all the same. Goodbye, Lieutenant. Et je peux pas insister. Euh, Pousse-toi, mamie. Allez, on se pousse. Poussez-vous. How can I help you? We seek information. Rena, I did, but I was told that. Are you sure the lad? Was... Absolutely, sir. Oh, that's horrible. Too bad. Non, on peut pas. Alors, toi, t'es en rouge. T'es forcément méchant. T'es en rouge. Excellency. I saw you in the palace, if I'm not mistaken. Your Excellency has a good eye and memory. I am one of the officers, in charge of the protection of your cousin's counsellors. How can I help you? Bah déjà, qu'est-ce que tu fous là, hein? You said you were responsible for the protection of my cousin's counsellors. That's right, Your Excellency. It's my assignment. When I'm not on leave, that is. And what sort of work do you carry out, exactly? Essentially, to assure that every one of those prestigious persons is accompanied by a guard. But I also have to follow and verify their personnel. Valets, chambermaids, secretaries. And is everything in order? One of our counsellors is an old professor of mine. You know how it is. All is as should be expected, Excellency. Lord de Cassillion is in good hands, rest assured. Anything else? We are investigating the death of a young recruit, a certain Rainer. I've never heard the name before. He's not one of my men. I know, but you might at least have heard someone mention him in passing. 
Did he die at the palace? No. We have no idea where it happened, only where the body was found. So? I'm, I'm sorry. That doesn't ring any bells. None at all. Bon, cette fois-ci, c'est moi qui vais insister. Someone might have talked about the matter. His body was found in the waters of the port. It had been reported that he drowned, but in truth, he was beaten to death, murdered. We want to know what happened. I hear you. The murder of one of our own should not go unpunished. But alas, I don't know how I can help you. This is the first I've heard about it. Donne-moi à boire. <rire> What can I pour for you? Ah oh bah alors lui il a une tête à jouer dans des zones hein. Alors, on va taper un peu la discute. Have you been on New Serene for quite some time then? You could say that. I was on the first boat over, same time as Lady Morange herself. When we set foot on the docks, there was nothing here but a fort made of wood. I was a soldier back in the day, but it turned out we needed more craftsmen than men of the sword. So I went to work building the place. And then I took my chances running this here establishment. Anything else? How is business faring? Well, extremely well, in fact. The place is always packed. Nothing like the taverns on the continent completely empty since the Malachor hit us. Of course, seeing as it's mostly sailors and soldiers in here, there's a bad fight now and again. We get some pretty rough brawls. But at least it's not like we're living in some cemetery. Anything else? I heard that there are some interesting activities down in the basement. Really? Well, that would be news to me. It was a friend of mine who told me about it. A friend who loves his cards. If you're also a player, then yes, it might be something you'd appreciate. You'll even find pleasant company as well if you're feeling alone and have some coin to part with. Anything else? Touche pas mon pognon. I'm looking for information concerning a young recruit going by the name of Rainer. Sorry, there's nothing but soldiers here, with a few sailors. Well, one recruit or another, it's half a dozen of one, six of the other to me. You should just try talking to them yourself. You got yourself quite a selection. What can I pour for you? Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful. She's got a strong bite. T'inquiète, je bois du jus d'orange tous les jours. J'ai pas peur. At your service, my lady. Excellency. Here. You seem tired and a little on edge. A drink would do you some good. It's just that I don't know if I'm allowed. You're on leave or you wouldn't be at the tavern. Then why not? Yes, but this is His Excellency's own bottle. I don't know if I can. Drink, I tell you. Now then, why don't you tell us what you know about Rainer? Well, I didn't. I didn't serve with him. Well, not really. We just crossed paths. He was leaving the 11th when I joined. Everyone said he was good, strong, and, uh, followed orders. And then, poof, Lieutenant got this order, and he wasn't happy. And I mean, really, quite unhappy. And then Rainer, he was gone. We never saw him again. We asked where he'd been sent, but the Lieutenant didn't want to tell us. Said that it was none of our business. But you? He won't be able to say no to you. You should go and offer him a drink, too. Where can we find your lieutenant? At the barracks. Thank you. And watch yourself when leaving. Wouldn't want you to fall into the bay. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Darlings, it's rare to see the upper crust in here. It must be my lucky day. Do you and yours want to have a good time? I could call a few friends. I'm sorry, but I'm not here for that. Really? 
What would you like then? Mais pourquoi t'es vénère I'll let you get on. What a shame. Attendez, on va aller voir en bas. This part of the establishment is reserved for regular customers who paid an entry fee. Sorry, but I can't let you in. In that case, allow me to pay the fee. We're delighted to have you as a regular customer, Your Excellency. Have fun. Yes, why? You looking to have a good time? I must leave you. Putain, on a tiré direct à la morgue. <rire> Attendez, il y a un peu. Ah, je me disais bien, il y a bien, il y a bien des sous capillés ici. Ah, c'est du niveau 2. Je me suis perdu. Qu'est-ce qu'il faut aller Non, c'est en bas. Il est bas, je l'ai vu. Hello, officer. Excellency, can I do something for you? Could you tell me which company you serve? The eleventh, Excellency. Anything else? What's your assignment? The 11th is assigned to road and outpost security for the congregation on the island. 
As for me, I'm responsible for the training of recruits and the patrol duty roster. Anything else? We are concerned about the death of a young recruit named Rayner. Let's be perfectly straight. We know that Rayner belonged to your company. And as the acting lieutenant instructor, you certainly had him under your command. So just stop with the lies. We've lost enough time here. You know what they say. Guard business is well guarded. And concerns only the guard. Now, unless you've lost your eyesight, you've a captain in front of you. I... I know. But this story is dangerous, Captain. If you have so much as an ounce of respect for the boy, speak to us. Don't you believe he deserves justice? Yes, of course. Rayner was indeed a member of my company, and an excellent recruit. But you already know that. Continue. One morning, I got a note telling me he'd been transferred from my company. He'd received a new assignment. I was so furious that I did my own little investigation to see where he'd been sent. It wasn't easy. No one wanted to give me answers. No one seemed to know anything. But one thing's for certain. Rayner wasn't the only man to have... disappeared. I learned that a good many recruits, all the cream of the crop, had been reassigned. And finally, I learned about the existence of a phantom regiment. What sort of nonsense are you talking about? A sort of secret elite company that were following a special training program. Where can we find them? I've no idea. I had to put my investigation to rest. Things were getting dangerous. I began to sense I was being watched. This regiment protects its secrets at all costs with few scruples. If you want to know more, the training officer of the Sixth might know something. It's been said that he took part in one of their missions, alongside them. Are you certain you've nothing more to tell me about this infamous secret regiment? I've told you everything I know, at the risk of ending up like Rayner, Excellency. Go and see the Officer of the Sixths if you want to learn more. And leave me alone now. Anything else? Are you certain you've nothing more to tell me about this infamous secret? I've told you everything. Go and see the Officer. Thank you, Lieutenant. Mais c'est pas vrai ça. Il n'y a rien d'autre à foutre de vos journées là. En fait, elle se bat avec quoi, machine Euh... Là, main une main. Méfiant, 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 ok. Il a un truc. Non. Non. Ok. Euh, alors. Il okay, y a un truc qui brille là-haut. Voilà. Toujours ramasser les trucs qui brillent.
Où il est Il sera en haut. Vous n'avez rien vu. Good day, Lieutenant. Excellency, what's your pleasure? C'est moi là la même tête que le mec en bas. What company do you serve? The Sixth, Excellency. Anything else? To where are you assigned? The Sixth Company is in charge of exploration and expansion of the colony of the Congregation of Merchants on the island. We operate mainly in the wilderness areas, in direct contact with the natives. But don't worry, we respect to the letter Congregation directives and standing orders. We avoid all confrontation with them as much as possible. Anything else? Tell me about the Phantom Regiment. About what? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, Your Excellency. On a une chance sur deux de le charisme. Allez. Come now, Lieutenant. You do realize that the activities of this regiment are particularly suspicious. Secrets, threats, fabrications, and maybe even an assassination. This resembles more the pursuits of a criminal organization than the honorable coin guard. Am I to conclude that you are involved? No. No. Oui. I assure you that isn't the case. So then tell me what you know about the regiment. I've seen the regiment. Even fought beside them on an operation. On that occasion, our marching orders were kept secret until the last minute. We were asked to remove our regiment emblems. And our pay wasn't even recorded. And of course, we were ordered to speak to no one about it under any circumstances. <laughs> I hope you realize the risk I'm taking, talking to you about all this. Have no fear. We understand. What was this operation? An attack. A lightning strike on a caravan from the Bridge Alliance. Marvelous. A company that behaves like back alley bandits. I know. It really shakes up the honor code. The regiment is made up of young recruits, carefully chosen. Only the best make it through. The training is extremely arduous. And my guess is that Rainer isn't the only one who's died from it. I know that they set up camp just outside the city, where the men live and train. But I'd be at a loss to tell you precisely where it's found. Sorry, Captain. Thank you, Lieutenant. This story is making me sick. Poor Rainer. If I'd have known, I'd never have recruited him. I'm sorry, Kurt. This isn't your doing. But these filthy phantoms, or whatever they are, are gonna have to settle the debt. Believe me. You do realize that your own commander is certainly involved in this on some level. Outright clandestine operations could not have taken place without his approval. That he's aware of the existence of the regiment, there is no doubt. That he approves of what they're doing. It wouldn't be the first head that didn't know what his hands were up to. What do you wish to do now? I'm gonna find the location of this camp. I have a few friends that can certainly help us. And when I know where to smoke out these bastards, I'll go and have a few fiery words. If you were of a mind to accompany me, two of us would not be too many to make sure they settle their debts. Let me know when you discover where they are to be found. You can count on me. Ah, Kurt est devenu aimable. Euh, alors il faut pres... Euh, ça c'est... Faut progresser. Pardon. Voilà, il y a des coups de pied au cul qui se perdent. Hein. Donc je disais, il faut progresser. Il est où l'escalier C'est où la sortie Ah 
que c'est que ça Ah, c'est le volcan. Yolo Non, tu sautes Saute <rire> Donc, je disais, il faut progresser dans la mission principale pour savoir la suite. Donc, ce qu'on va faire, on va obtenir la patente pour monsieur euh, face de charbon. Ah, ça brille. En tout. Euh, S'il vous plaît, est-ce qu'on peut venir ramasser les corps là Ça fait pas propre. C'est mal, euh, c'est très mal indiqué. Ouh, il n'y a personne. Ah. Minister. Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? I would like to talk to you about an islander who is trying to set up shop in our city. Since he doesn't have a patent, his wares get confiscated as soon as he receives them. And you want me to provide him with the said patent? I would be delighted to show you the procedure to follow so that we may study his request. You'll understand that we cannot give an authorization without having determined the value of the goods beforehand. We must determine the tax rate according to this value, determine the best emplacement for this business. In short, these things take time. Je suis pas content, hein, a lot of time. Alors on peut le charismer, alors on va le charismer. I'm certain that my cousin will be delighted to hear that our relations with the natives are progressing in a significant way. And he will probably be very grateful to the minister who helped their first merchant set up shop in our city. Indeed, I seem to recall reading a circular on the necessity of establishing good relations with the natives. We could accelerate things by leaving some formalities for later. I would think so too. Very well. In that case, here's the patent that will allow your protégé to legally pursue his activity in the city. You should give him this copy. The other one will be kept in the archives. However, one of my representatives will visit his stall for the estimation and to determine the tax rate in accordance with the... Thanks a lot, Minister. Looking forward to seeing you again. Would you like anything else? That'll be all. Goodbye, Your Excellency. En clair, c'est filme le papier et ta gueule. Est-ce qu'il n'y aurait pas une autre quête à faire ici euh, Trouver les notes. Marchand de denier. Ça, c'est les quêtes. Euh, rencontrer le gouverneur. C'est bon, non, ça, c'est dehors. J'étais passé par là. Oh, ça brille. 
Tiens, face de charbon. You came back. Something terrible happened. What is it? I was just bringing you the patent you needed to set up shop. The Bod Irony came back and they took my cousin away. He came to bring us animal pelts and new objects from the village. But the warriors came back. They took everything he was bringing me. And they also took him. Oh, I don't know what they will do with him. Please, bring him back to me. I don't see why they would have arrested your cousin, but I'll try to find out. Oh, putain. Oh là là. Attendez, je vais vendre quelques trucs. Greetings. Oui, oui, ta gueule. If you're looking for and if you have it. Pour 4 points, voilà. Hmm. Euh... Ah, mais il est moche son truc là. Ça c'est très classe. Ah, J'aime beaucoup le, le point avec le, le pieu au milieu. Combien ça coûte ça 283 Je suis à combien 409 Tricorne usée. Couche soleil. Oh Mais j'ai une préférence pour celui-là. Bien. 188. Ah mais là, elle fait plus du tout natif, donc... Euh Et lui Non, lui, ça lui... Bon, tant qu'on est dans la ville, on va pas mettre d'armure. Ah, encore lui Oh putain Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? Thank you. I've come to see you again to talk about the Islander merchant. I managed to obtain a license for him, but he informed me that while I was taking care of this, his cousin, who was making a delivery for him, was arrested. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. Especially considering you've managed to obtain an official authorization for him. I'm afraid my men ran out of patience when they saw this hunter making deliveries for the merchant again. They wanted to confiscate his cargo, but the lad resisted and he was thrown in jail for disorderly conduct. If you want to set him free, that's where you must go. Sorry, again, Your Excellency. I should have known you'd managed to obtain the necessary license for your protégé and told the patrol. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Putain, mais les mecs, vous avez des natifs de l'île qui viennent faire du commerce avec vous et vous, vous les collez en tôle. Can I do for you? I'm looking for a prisoner, a native who should have been brought here recently. You're a bit late. He was sent to fight in the arena. In the arena? So this man was judged? Who pronounced the sentence? 
Whoa there. Do you really think that we would organize a proper trial for a savage? He attacked some guards. He's lucky he won't gun down right there and then. At least in the arena, he has a chance of survival since apparently he's a hunter. This man was only defending the goods he was bringing to his cousin. And now he has to fight for his life. I have no hand in this. I'm not the one who made this decision. They brought him here and then they took him away, that's all. What did you do with the goods he had with him? They got confiscated, put in the storeroom, like all the rest. Anything else? I must leave you. Voilà, on va amener tout le, tout le stock de marchandises sur notre dos. Il n'y a rien. Mais tu vas te pousser, oui. Non, c'est pas par là. J'aurais dû passer par en bas. Attendez, on va faire une petite sauvegarde. Parce que là, si nous ont mis tout notre bordel, c'est qu'il y a une raison. Donc, euh, on va se reposer. Ah, ok. Good day, and welcome to the arena. Is this your first time? It is. Excellent. The crowd just loves to see new faces. So, are you ready to rise to the challenge? Or would you like a little reminder of the rules before jumping in? Unless, of course, you're just here to go over the basics and get in some practice. Um, Could you explain the rules again? Certainly. Regular combats take place in groups. Two of your companions will fight at your side. In order to become a champion, you'll need to win the five challenges. Each challenge is broken down. But once a challenge has been... I wish to fight alongside the island hunter that was captured. Really? You'd have to go in alone. Your friends will need to stay in the stands. Are you sure that this prisoner is worth risking your life for? This man has been the victim of terrible injustice. I cannot stand aside without doing anything. Oh, that's extremely noble of you. But it's just the sort of crazy idea that the crowd loves. <laughs> I have to warn you, though. If you want to fight now, you will lose your bonus in the running challenges. So, what'll it be? 
Justice cannot wait. I am ready to fight. De toute façon, j'ai pas fait les défis, donc. Euh... In that case, the arena awaits you. Oh. Eh non non, ça c'est de la triche avec les bestioles là. Alors. Euh, action. Voilà. Et une autre pose tactique. Tiens, bouffe. Non, non, faut-moi la paix. Pose tactique. Tiens, bouffe. Oh, pff. oh là là. Non. Ah non, eh, non mais ça c'est de la triche. C'est quoi ces bestioles là Ta gueule, ta gueule, ta gueule, ta gueule. Ta gueule, ta gueule, ta gueule. Ta gueule, ta gueule. Là. Tire-lui dans le cul. Voilà. panier connard bonsoir allez tire lui dans le cul voilà et un coup dans la tête voilà voilà what a show You've won the affections of the crowd, and when the crowd makes a decision, it gets what it wants. You're free, prisoner. <laughs> I owe you my life on Al Manawi. Blessed be the winds that have blown you to my side. By what name should I address you? My name is Desarde. In fact, it's your cousin, the merchant, that sent me. Follow me. Let's go and find him. Ça va, vous avez bien aimé le spectacle Ah, on old Menawi. Oh, I'm glad to see you again. Oh, Ven. Oh, I'm so glad to see you alive. Then you must thank this on old Menawi. He fought to save me. Thank you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet. Don't mention it. I also brought you back your goods. May the trees always bear you fruit. We owe you a lot. You should go see Ulan, the chief of Vignamri, my village. He wants to be friends with the Renaigse. 
since you are a legate, you could talk to him. Je crois que je vais me l'acheter finalement ce ce petit ou. J'ai pas des trucs à vendre. Oui oui oui, on s'en fout. Euh... Bah, J'ai peut-être pas la peine d'en avoir 50. Voilà. Euh... Je peux avoir un cap, mais tout pourri. Mais je prends. Euh... Résistance élément. The best forge in tier for a day. Le problème c'est que je perds mes chances de butin donc euh... bon, tant pis tant pis tant pis On va peut-être lui acheter un espadon lui parce que son vieil espadon rouillé là il va pas aller loin mais elle aussi on va lui coller ça qu'est ce qui est mieux voilà même si c'est très moche ah, attends oh c'est great Espadon de la garde. La main de main, l'agilité. Voilà. The best forge in tier for a day. Blades, armor, locks, custom pieces made to order. Ah! Je me suis fait avoir. Oui, je vais le garder pour l'instant. Ouais, j'ai une cape. Bon alors. Non, c'est pas ça. Euh... Donc lui, le chef, on va aller le voir après. Alors, on va trouver et marquer les caisses de marchandises. Caisser là-bas. Such a pleasure to see you. Have you seen anything to your... Oh, les gants. Oh, le turban. Je sais pas la mode. Je sais pas, je sais pas comment dire. Euh... Je peux pas les mettre. Hein. Euh... 
avec euh, petit collier de l'inquisiteur cap de marin cap de gars cap de marchand cap d'artilleur charisme plus un le cap de marchand elle a l'air vachement mieux hein. Voilà, et moins l'air d'une pouilleuse comme ça. Bonne zone réservée aux notes. Ok, même en marin, on peut pas... Ok, ok. On se détend. On va passer, là. Non. Faire le tour. Ok. Ok. Merci pour le niveau, les gars. Bon, j'ai essayé d'être discrète quand même. Discrétion. Il n'y a personne. Une discrétion. Non. These aren't the right crane. No, these aren't the right crates. C'est scandaleux. Attendez. Euh... Piège. Anneau de magie. Stase. Non. Ça, c'est quoi ça Lame à deux mains. Lame à une main. Va destructrice. Va être puissante. J'ai pas de point là. Non. Et non plus. Bon, va falloir faire le tour. Hein. 
C'est scandaleux, monsieur le juge. Quoi, j'ai oublié un truc, là Non, je l'ai fait, là. we've been looking for it appears that one of them has been broken it's full of weapons that doesn't seem right it is our clients that supply us weapons on tier 3 you didn't know what was in the crates no i don't concern myself with the commander's business i should take a look into this i have some friends here that must know what this is all about let me know what you discover now let's mark these crates and get going Sabri. Attends, attends. Ah non, c'est l'alcool. Your Excellency. We found a way into the storehouse and we marked all of the crates. Perfect. I shall ask my men to follow the same path. One of the crates was damaged. I was quite surprised by what I found in it. Really? To be honest with you, the commander never told me what was in them. I received the order to deliver them as soon as Kurt accomplished his mission without any further instructions. For what it's worth, I thank you for your help. And I hope you can accept this modest token for everything you've done. If you have another moment, Your Excellency, I would like to ask you for your help. We have a serious problem that I did not hear of until recently. A problem that concerns you closely. Vas-y, crache le morceau. I was told that some of our soldiers have been extorting large sums of money from the town merchants under the pretext of financing their protection. Are you telling me that the Guard is extorting merchants in our city? Indeed. Some merchants have been assaulted, and one of them has even been found dead. I hope you don't intend to conceal this information. If my cousin learns of this... Oh no, certainly not, Your Excellency. We intend to punish the guilty party with the greatest severity. But the merchants refuse to give us the slightest testimony. The Guard frightens them, and rightly so. We won't be able to put a stop to these crimes without outside help. Count on me. I'll take care of it. No, thank you. Bon. On sortira jamais de la ville, hein. I was told that someone found a merchant's body. Did you know him? Of course. The town isn't that big. We all know each other here. Poor Reno. We found his body on the street by the port. He was beaten to death. 
One of his associates half-heartedly took over the shop. Have the culprits been found? No. Listen. Nobody wants to talk about this. We don't want any trouble. It's been months since it happened. An investigation's not gonna bring him back. I'm currently investigating an extortion case involving the guard. Are you one of the merchants who has been threatened? <coughs> no, not at all. And I've never heard of this business. Someone must have lied to you. Really? Come on. If you want these guards to be arrested, you need to talk to me. I mean no offense, but you won't be able to do anything. And snitching don't end well. I want to hold on to my business. And my life. How about some new armor, Your Excellency? You are obviously a victim of these bandits. One of your people is dead. Yet you refuse to help me. Why? It's precisely because one of our people is dead. Now, you can either buy something or let me get back to work. Because I'm not going to say one more word about this case. D'accord, d'accord. Qu'est-ce que tu peux me fabriquer? Nobody saw anything. Nobody knows anything. Okay. Allons voir les autres marchands. Have you seen anything? I am conducting an investigation. Apparently, some merchants are being extorted by some members of the guard. Really? That's that's terrible, Your Excellency. As legate, it is my duty to ensure the safety and well-being of the citizens of our town. So please, if you have any information. I I don't know anything. Really? I have only been here for a few months. My partner, who ran the shop before me, had a very bad encounter. And you fear the same thing happening to you? This is what happens around here. So I prefer to hold my tongue and do what is expected of me. If you denounce them, we could end this and charge these men for their crime. I can't take that risk. There are so many of them. Also, I would not be able to name them. Now, I would like to get back to my work. What we need is the money to return. Do you understand? We are very monitored. I see. In that case, I will leave you. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Come closer, good people. The cure and what? Listen. I am pleased to welcome you if you're looking. Thank you, but I'm. I was told a merchant had been found dead. Really? Oh, I didn't know. No one told me about that. What was his name? Come on, don't take me for a fool. You know very well who I'm talking about. I don't, really? I don't. So, what sort of wine would you like to pair your food with? You need something strong when eating game. I am conducting an investigation. Some merchants are being extorted by members of the guard. Uh, are you sure? It's probably just a nasty rumor. Someone must have misinformed you. Come now. I am the legate of the congregation. If guards threaten you, I could arrange protection for you. Threats? No. I assure you. You're obviously terrified. Don't you think it's better to tell me everything? Listen, I've no desire to get into trouble. Please leave me. But if you don't help me, you will never be rid of these guards. I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't learn much. All these merchants are terrified. I think it will be easier to convince the one who lost his partner to help us. Greenblood, my friend. Do you need something? You seemed really attached to Reyna. He brought some memories back. I was a bit like him at his age, and I felt responsible for his well-being. After all, I recruited him. Why? Don't tell me you're jealous of this poor kid. Mm -hmm. 
lui dire qu'on se demandait s'il y avait eu quelque chose d'autre avec lui, lui demander s'il avait déjà pensé avoir des enfants. Don't be foolish. It's just that you seemed so hurt about everything he went through. I wanted to understand how you felt. That's kind. I'm sorry I made that stupid comment. This whole matter makes me nervous. I should have known that you were far too subtle to feel like that. Anything else? Il faut absolument que je trouve un autre chapeau. You told me that you enlisted at a very young age. But do you have any pleasant memories of your childhood? Some, yes. Why? What kind of memories were you thinking about? Son premier amour, j'en ai un peu rien à foutre. Tell me about a happy memory of yours. A memory that makes you smile. I have a few sweet but blurry memories of my wet nurse. I remember her smell of crushed flowers and herbs. But when I try to remember something happy, it's the memory of a later event that stirs. The memory of a day when we skipped training to go for a swim in the river. It was spring. We waded for a good part of the afternoon into a marvelous little cold stream. Running over a bed of round pebbles. <laughs> Isn't it odd that that appears to be my happiest memory? No, it was a moment of freedom. You were carefree. I guess that's why you remember it. You're right. Since that day, there hasn't been much room in my life for being carefree. Anything else? I must leave you. On va parler à Aloy. Je vais l'appeler Aloy hein, parce que je me souviens jamais de son nom. Bon, elle, elle a rien à dire. Bon, on va retourner voir le mec. Euh... I have a plan to stop the culprits, but I'm going to need your help. The next time one of these guards comes to squeeze money out of you, you must ask for more time. The man will threaten you, of course, and he will certainly bring his accomplices. But when they come back in full force to make you pay for your audacity, we will be there to apprehend them. And if your plan fails, I'll end up like Renault. You don't understand. Le plan ne peut pas échouer. Nous sommes dans un jeu vidéo. Are you not tired of giving them a share of your profits? And do you not want to avenge your partner? Poor Renault. He didn't deserve it. Perhaps you're right, and we need to act. I will do what you ask of me. But for God's sake, when they threaten me, intervene right away. Fear not. We will not let them harm you. When should they be returning? It's hard to predict. Given their habits, I would say... In two days, maybe. Perfect. I will not fail you. Bon. Ce qu'on va faire, c'est pas ça. Euh, elle est où ma baraque? Maison? Où es-tu, maison? Oui. Taverne. Euh, là. On va aller dormir. Un jour et 23h, putain ils sont... Non, ça va par là. Non, c'est pas... Ah Attends, attends, ça brille. Ah, attends, ça brille là aussi. Ah, décidément, ça brille partout ici. En tout. Alors, on va foutre tout le bordel.
Merde, j'ai pas... J'étais pas dans mon truc. Un petit coup de sauvegarde. Et on va faire avancer le temps. Oh, au fait, euh, ça va machin là Parlez. De Sardé, I have a favor to ask. Uh... Very well. I'm listening. Do you remember the story of Jonah? Of course. Well. I'm like him. I don't know anything. When I was born, I must have been used mystery of my... If I were patient enough. But since being... And you want me to help you find... You understand, correct. Mine must be in the... But if I go there, could you go there and bring the... Another time, maybe. I understand. Did you want anything else? I must leave you. Pourquoi je lui ai parlé? Pourquoi je lui ai parlé? Ça, c'est l'effet Mass Effect. Hein. Faut parler à tout le monde. 8h, 10h, 16h, 17h. Attends, combien de temps il reste Allô, combien de temps il reste La piste d'argent. Il reste un jour et cinq heures. Oh putain, ça se plus vite donc. Voilà, on va y aller tranquille. Ah, ça brille. Allez, c'est parti. se mettre là hop c'est pas discret mais bon Hello, Your Excellency. pourquoi vous arrêtez pas de, de taper sur cette pauvre porte elle vous a rien fait balade un peu parce que là ça va être trop long à attendre. Y a pas des trucs qui brillent Des trucs qui brillent
va pas trop loin, mais on ramasse quand même les trucs qui brillent. qui baille. Soyez discret. Ok, ok, ok. Mais tout ça. On va se mettre là, on va attendre. Putain, ça va être chiant. C'est déjà allé. Là, on peut pas sauter. Mais laissez cette pauvre porte tranquille.
Non, mais ça suffit, là. Oh Barre-toi. Barre-toi. Laisse cette porte tranquille. Et 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Je suis là. C'est such a pleasure to have you seen anything to your liking. So, did they take the bait? Yes, your excellency. And I am very happy to see you. One of them came to the shop yesterday. He gave me 24 hours to raise the money required, which means that the entire gang could appear any minute now. Perfect. I'll hide and wait for their arrival. And rest assured, I will not let them go. Se cacher à proximité. C'est où à proximité? I hope you have what we're looking for, my good friend. Our man with the silver coin is not known for his patience. Well, I, I moved heaven and earth to collect the sum, but alas, I, I ran out of time. More fool you if you think Egon will be satisfied with your sorry excuses. You know what happens to those who refuse to pay. Leave this man alone at once. You're under arrest. We'll see about that. And who will stop us? We are the guard. You certainly don't deserve such a name. Bunch of cowards. Yield without a fuss and you'll have the right to a trial. Really? And then it'll be the gallows. Do you think we're pushovers? Things are about to get dicey. I'm eternally grateful, Your Excellency. You saved my trade and my life. Stay alert. Their leader was obviously not present. I heard about the man with the silver coin, but this is the first time they told me his name. If they let it escape, it was only because they were thinking of killing you. I beg you, find this Egon and stop him. None of us will be safe as long as he's free. Don't worry. I don't intend to let him go. Are your boots worn through? Is your hat out of style? Does your vest belong to last year's fashion? On se pousse, allez. J'espère que vous réussirez à faire cracher ce radin de marchand. Nous ne nous tolérons plus aucun retard de paiement cette fois. Je vous attendrai dans la ruelle en face de la caserne. Ne soyez pas en retard, Egon. We must find this Egon. At the barracks, perhaps. I doubt our man goes openly by that name. It is the silver coin we must look for. Attends, parce que. Le manteau de cuir. Ouais, il est vraiment dégueulasse ce manteau. Je fais plus de dégâts avec ça. Hop. Allez. On va aller chercher Egon Targaryen là. Et on va lui botter le cul.
Tiens, tiens, tiens. Et voilà. So, men, how's it going? Everything's fine, Lieutenant. Nothing to report. All our friends are quiet. Perfectly quiet. As soon as they hear about a silver coin, they start trembling. Good. It would be a shame to have to make another example of them, right? Oh, there's no need, Lieutenant. They've been as sweet as lambs since Renault's accident. Accidents happen so quickly. I'm waiting for another delivery today. Have you seen your comrades? No, they must have stopped at the tavern on the way. As soon as we see them, we'll send them your way, Lieutenant. I hope those idiots aren't drinking my dew. No one would dare do that to you, Lieutenant. I hope not. Well, I'll have to remind them that the silver coin can shake everyone, even the guards. Well, I'll leave you. I have urgent business to attend to. Now, don't forget to send me those drunkards. Farewell, Lieutenant. There is no doubt. Here is our man. Let's follow him discreetly. Discuss you. Who are you? You're following me. Indeed. We would like to talk to you about the silver coin, Egon. Egon? <laughs> you must be mistaken. I don't know anyone by that name. Don't take us for fools. We heard you speak with your men. I don't know what you've heard, but you're wrong. I'm not Egon. Regardless, you were implicated in a murder and in the extortion of merchants. You were therefore under arrest. And we will finish by having you tell us who Egon is and where to find him. Oh, yes. We'll see about that. To my house! And Come death on, to the death! death. Que ça reste bien, euh... Tu de l'autre? So, have you finally decided to follow us? So you can torture me. You can do whatever you want. I'll not tell you anything. I don't know who Egon is. I'm just a middleman. You're wasting your time. You must know more than you're willing to say. Come on. I'd rather die. <laughs> The silver coin, his symbol of recognition. I have to show it to Man. Ah, je peux de officier. Attends.
Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? <laughs> il dort. Il dort. Le <rire> mec, il en peut plus. I conducted my investigation on the extortion organized by certain members of the guard. I think I've put an end to it, at least temporarily. Unfortunately, I had to kill some of them as they were about to attack a merchant. But there are still some other soldiers involved that I should tell you about. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will have these men arrested immediately. These foolish brutes not only harm your merchants, but the entire reputation of the guard. But you said you've only put an end to it temporarily. What makes you think this criminality might resume? Their leader is still on the loose. They call him Egon, although I doubt it's his real name. I got hold of one of his lieutenants. He was carrying a silver coin, which seems to be a symbol of recognition between the gang members. But the man preferred to die rather than tell us anything about his leader. Loyalty or terror? Terror, I fear. From the merchants to the guards, everyone seems to tremble in front of this Egon. I don't know any guard of that name, but as you said, it's probably a pseudonym. Here, Your Excellency, take this. On behalf of the guard, to thank you for settling this case. And rest assured that I will conduct a thorough investigation on my side. I'll also make sure that in future the city guard is made up only of men of trust. Thank you. I will return to see how your investigation is going. I don't take this matter lightly. Is there anything else? On sait très bien que tu fermes les yeux sur tous tous ces petits trafics. <laughs> no, thank you. Ouh. On se calme. Alors. Et leur Ruade. Ouais. Roulade. Ouais. La main de main. Furie vengeresse. Ah, pour l'instant, euh, j'utilise que des trucs à une main. Donc, euh... Voilà. Non. Attribut. Euh... Force. Agilité. C'est quoi ça Puissance. Volonté, précision, constitution. Les forces, c'est quoi euh, On va prendre force. Voilà. Et talent. Point suivant, niveau 9. Donc ça veut dire... Donc maintenant il peut le... Oui il peut le prendre. Voilà. Là t'as le vrai... as une vraie arme là. Donc. Euh... Être vainqueur du premier défi. Je lui ai dit Vasco. Mais d'abord, j'ai vu que j'avais reçu une petite récompense, donc on va aller la chercher. Tiens, bouffe Tiens Cuirasse scouté. Voilà. C'est mieux quand même. C'est beaucoup mieux. I need a bit of practice. I need a bit of practice. Ah
Bon, le prochain point, c'est dans l'agilité. Du... Marteau du dieu oublié. Ah, C'est le marteau de Thor, quoi. Je prends. <rire> Dis des légendes. Alors, inventaire. Voilà. Un petit coup de sauvegarde. Je vais faire, je vais le remettre dans le coffre parce que ça... Qualité 65. Ça pèse quand même 11 kilos. Donc... Voilà. Alors. Composer son aide. Ah oui, il faut que je reparle, machin. Pardon. Et poussez-vous et regarde pas le... De Sarday, j'ai toujours hâte, mais... Pouvez-vous aller là-bas Bien sûr. Mais tu... Oui, right. despite mon désir... Ne vous inquiétez pas, nous serons discrets. Donc si on a, tu dégages. Voilà. Here we are. We have a good view from here. The harbor office is well guarded, both outside and inside. Getting through the main entrance is impossible. There must be a blind spot. There's always one. You could dress as a knot and go through the back door, but someone may recognize you inside. I'll need to be much more discreet. A potion could help me. That is an option, yes, but since I'd rather avoid hurting any knots, I made some inquiries. The harbor office has an arrangement with Dieter from the brothel. Girls come every night with wine. I see. You want us to spike the wine so that they sleep during our search? It's a proven technique. 
And I can assure you, they do not sniff the wine before drinking it. Right. Let's get a sleeping potion. Then we'll go see Dita. Desarde, can I do anything? I must leave you. Donc, obtenir des somnifères. Où est-ce que je pourrais voir ça Où est-ce que je pourrais avoir des somnifères Forgeron, marchand. On va aller voir le marchand, peut-être qu'il en a. Préparation. Euh, potion de brume. Potion de sévérité, potion de vérité. Comme par hasard, il avait le, la potion qu'on voulait. Il est en bas. Il est en bas. Yes, why? You looking to have a good time? It seems like you're sending girls and wine to the harbor office every night. So, there's no law against that, is there? No, and I'm not here to stop you. Listen, Dita, we just wanted to add a secret ingredient to your wine tonight. What? Are you joking? Are you trying to slip a laxative in it? We were thinking more of sleeping pills. Nothing bad, you see. Listen, I have nothing against a little prank, but I can't risk losing my best customers. Allez, un petit coup de charisme. Captain Vasco is very influential among the Nords. Maybe he could help expand your excellent clientele even further. If you accept, I could arrange for your agreement to come to fruition. In San Mateus, for example. San Mateus? Ah, I would have to recruit. But yeah, that would be interesting. So then, we agree? Yes, that's fine. Tonight your friends will receive their delivery seasoned. Now, give me the sleeping potion. Thanks to Dita, you should be able to slip into the harbor master's office after dark. But you should still dress as one of us, just to make sure you avoid confrontation. Good idea. I'll see to it. Retourne chez moi pour la tenue des notes. Ah, ça brille. Non, 
Non C'est pas juste. Dieter's girls will arrive later tonight. We can wait here if you're ready. We'll wait for Dieter's girls to do their work as planned, then we'll enter. Very well. It's definitely the safer option. Dieter's girls are gone. Your guard should get a good night's sleep now. You should go. I'll wait here as planned. I can't risk the court there. Don't worry. I'll make sure not to hurt anyone. Good luck, Disardi. Ok, je trouve les clés dans un, dans un coffre, tranquille. Je sais pas ce qu'on veut. Ouais, on peut pas passer par là. Good day, milady. Disarde. I'm the and cousin to the governor. One of my noughts accompanies you from time to time, doesn't he? But I doubt that you've come here. I need to be going. Until. Oui, c'était là, c'était marqué en gros. Oui, il dort vachement. Hein. I was able to recover your file, Vasco. And nobody saw me. Wonderful. You did everything perfectly. So, let's see what this file can tell us. So I was right. My real name is Leandra, son of the Darcy family from Serene. Nobles, I suppose. Yes. I must admit that I had no idea they had given a son to the Norts. To think that I spent my childhood polishing ship bridges when I could have been wearing silk. I'm sorry for you, Vasco. But growing up in nobility is not as simple as it sounds. Really? Well, 
Whatever. I've learnt my real name thanks to you, and that's what I wanted. Leandra Darcy. I remember coming across a Darcy at my uncle's court. Your brother, no doubt. My brother? What was he like? It was a long time ago. We were children. I couldn't tell you what he looks like today. A brother? I wonder if we are alike despite our completely different lives. Thank you for sharing this and for telling me about him. You gave me back my identity. This is more important than the Nords care to admit. Est-ce qu'il te ressemble Il doit avoir moins de tatouages sur la gueule que toi, quand même. De Sarday, can I do anything for you? Do you wish you were never given to the Nords? How could I not be regretful? I never got to experience a mother's love or a lavish youth. Most nobles are uninteresting. Life as a sailor is much more exciting, at least. Perhaps, but I would have preferred to choose my own destiny. Did you want anything else? Ula. Had you ever heard about the Darcys before? No, I had not. As you know, there are many noble families in Serene, and there was a time when a lot of them had to give a child to the Norse. I am certain that they would be very proud to see that their son is now a famous captain. I doubt it. Once we're taken away from our homes, we become anonymous. The nobility see the Norse as nothing more than a necessary evil. We are no longer their children. Did you want anything else? I must leave you. Oh. Hello. Bon, bah, faut avoir dans la quête. Euh... Rencontrer le gouverneur de l'Alliance du Pont. Ça c'est chiant. Tiens, on va aller au village des machins là. Allez, c'est parti. On va peut-être passer prendre euh, machine avant. Composer l'équipe. Alors, Vasco, tu dégages. Voilà. Et on va peut-être finir par sortir de ces putains de villes. Ah, ça brille. Et là, ça rebrille. Chaque long voyage, tu vas passer par un voyage. Hmm. Alors, on peut atteindre le village. Hmm. 
On va sortir un peu de la ville. On prend des bois. Les camps de marchands. Lors des longs voyages, vous arrêtez dans un camp de marchands itinérant. Vous pouvez acheter, vendre des objets, gérer les compagnons, accéder au coffre. L'atelier, améliorer et pour continuer dans la région, avancer sur la route. Bon, on va s'arrêter là, hein. on verra la suite du jeu dans la prochaine vidéo. Là ça fait déjà deux heures et demie, vous avez une bonne grosse vidéo où on tourne en rond encore une fois. Bon allez, salut